An economic student wants to find out whether the length of time people spend in education affects how much they earn. The student carries out a small study. She asks 12 adults to state their annual income and the number of years they spent in full-time education. The data are given in the table below and a, and a partially completed scatter plot is given. So here's the years of education, 11 down to 19. Here's the income out of 1,000 euro. Here is our scatter plot that's not fully completed. So we have years of education along the horizontal axis and we have annual income out of a thousand euro along the vertical axis. Part one, the last three rows of data have not been included on the scatter plot. Insert them now. So 17, 60, so we go to 17 on the horizontal axis, which is here. And we go to 60, which is here. And we go across and we go up. And we plot our point. So 1760. Next, 1730. So again, we go to 17 on the horizontal axis. We go to 30 on the vertical axis. And we plot our point. And then we have 1958. So we go to 19 on the horizontal axis, which is here. 58, which is about here. And we go across and up. And we plot our third point. Part 2. What can you conclude from the scatter plot? We can conclude that there is weak positive correlation with some outliers, for example, 1730. So first of all, correlation. There's correlation if our dots are in a line going either upwards or downwards. And we can see that we can draw in a line of best fit and we can see that the dots, most of them, except for this one, seem to be quite close to the line. Now, if they were really, really, really close to the line, we'd say we have strong correlation. If they were moderately close to the line, we'd have moderate correlation. But some of these dots are not all that close. So this one's quite far away. So is that one. And obviously this one is an outlier. It's very, very far away. So we're going to say that there's weak correlation. It's also positive because the dots are going upwards. So they're going uphill. If they were going downhill, downwards, we'd say it's a negative correlation. So the outlier is this one here, which is 1730. So that's really far away from everything else. Part three, the student collected the data using a telephone survey. Numbers were randomly chosen from the Dublin area telephone directory. The calls were made in the evenings between seven and 9 p.m. If there was no answer or if the person who answered did not agree to participate, then another number was chosen at random. Give one possible problem that might make the results of the investigation unreliable. State clearly why the issue you mention could cause a problem. 7 to 9 p.m. is a small window of time. It's only two hours. This reduces the number of people available to accept the phone call. Anyone working late or doing evening activities cannot participate in the study.